Hello, welcome to 128 Bike. In this video, I will talk about e bikes with front and rear motor and I will focus on what are their advantages and why they still matter. So, let's first start with the obvious difference you will see when looking for an e bike is the price. E bikes with rear and front motor don't need any special expensive frames to accommodate the motor and electronics as mid motor e bikes do. Small adjustments to a well developed and known bicycle frames do the job, saving a big chunk of money. Also, assembly of these e bikes is much simpler, saving you money again. Next, drivetrain doesn't have to be high end like with mid motor e bikes. With mid motor e bikes, it is like you have a pro cyclist riding the drivetrain all of the time. With motors in wheels, you have the perfect assistance to the drivetrain, meaning that it is used even less than in, with regular bikes. This means it doesn't have to be expensive and that it lasts really long, uh, making you savings not only now, but in the future as well. Secondly, cargo e-bikes or e-bikes that carry heavy riders on a hilly terrain. In case of cargo e-bikes, this is a logical choice because motors in wheels assist you without adding additional pressure, uh, pressure to the drivetrain. Just imagine if you load your cargo e-bike with a total of 200 kilos of a rider and the cargo and then start going up a steep hill. With mid-motor, the chain tension would be absolutely too high for the drivetrain to last. It doesn't make any sense. With wheeled motors, this problem does not exist. Third, choice of components for the service and interchangeability. In case of servicing the parts which are used on the wheeled motor e-bikes, you will find that they are pretty much uh, standard bike parts that are easily available and interchangeable. Same thing goes for the motor as well. You just have to find the motor with the same voltage and the wheel size transmission settings and you can change it to more, no matter uh, the producer or the shape and size. In case of mid motors, you must find the same motor producer or even the same model because some mid motor companies change the frame mount during the years. Otherwise, if it is not available, you must throw away the expensive e-bike. Now, some might say that mid motor e-bikes give you more natural riding feeling that than the ones with the front and rear motor. And yes, that is true. There is a small difference in case of the models that are equipped with rotational pass sensors only. This difference is not so significant, but in case you are looking for absolutely that natural riding feeling, there is a solution for that as well. There are models of these e-bikes with rotation and torque sensors, which make the ride feel completely natural, same as with mid-motor. So in conclusion, front and rear motor e-bikes are a great all-round solution that is half price of mid-motor e-bikes that can carry big loads and that is easily serviceable. And all of this sounds quite good to me. <clears throat> Thank you for your attention. And if you wish to contribute to this topic right here at 128 Bike, I would like to hear from you. Bye.